Hello and welcome to Technolab Creation. In the last video, I introduced the ZM TB one zero one B voltage sensor module and showcased its features, a specification, and how to use it with a simple project to display voltage readings on an OLED screen. But today, I am taking it a step further. We are going to build something practical and essential: a fully functional over voltage and under voltage protection system using the ZM TB one zero one B voltage sensor module. Uh, this system will help you protect your appliances by cutting off the power supply when the voltage goes beyond the defined safe limit, whether it is too high or too low. And the best part, these threshold values are customizable, so you can adjust them as per your requirements. Sound exciting? Let's dive in. Before we move ahead, let me quickly introduce you a fantastic addition to this project: my custom-designed ESP32 board with a Type-C connector. This board was specifically designed to make prototyping easier and more reliable. And I had it manufactured using the JLC PCB PCB assembly services. For those of you who don't know, JLC PCB is one of the best platforms for getting high quality PCBs at an affordable price. They offer PCB fabrication starting at just two dollar for one to four layer boards. PCB assembly services where you can directly upload your BOM and CPL files, and they will handle the rest. Uh, JLC PCB also offers multi-color silk screen PCBs, flex PCBs, or uh, even 3D printing services for your project needs. And ordering PC from JLC PCB is very easy. Just you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB, select the quantity, select the color masking, and after that, click on Save to Cart to complete your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping method, uh, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. Uh, I received a perfectly assembled and tested board. Uh, if you are looking to take your projects to the next level, I highly recommend trying out JLC PCB. And as a bonus, new user can get a coupon for their first order. So don't miss out. Before we get into the assembly and coding, let me quickly explain how this projects work. The ZM TB one zero one B voltage sensor continuously monitors the input voltage from the power supply. If the voltage goes above a specified threshold value, the system cuts off the power supply using a relay. Uh, similarly, if the voltage drops below one eighty volts, the relay turns off, ensuring protection for your appliances. And these threshold values can be easily changed by modifying the code to suit your specific requirements. Parts you will need for this project are ZM TB one zero one voltage sensor module, uh, an ESP thirty two board, a relay module, sixteen cross two LCD display for real time voltage monitoring, and some jumper wires. And for demonstration, I am going to use this hundred watt AC bulb. You can use any AC appliances you want. Uh, now connect all these components as per this connection diagram. So our hardware is ready. It's time to upload the code to the ESP thirty two. But first, let me explain this code. Uh, here we start by including the necessary libraries wire.h for i2c communication liquid crystal underscore i2c to control the i2c based lcd and uh, zm tv 101b for handling the voltage sensor uh, here we initialize the lcd module with its i2c address 0 cross 27 and size is 16 cross 2 after that here we define sensitivity for the zm tv 101b voltage sensor module uh, this value is determined through the calibration and affects the sensor accuracy This initializes the voltage sensor. Uh, 34 is the ADC pin where the sensor output is connected. Uh, this is mains frequency. So here enter the correct frequency. In my region it is 50 hertz. Uh, in your case maybe it is different. So enter the frequency as per your region. Uh, in the setup function, serial communication starts as 115200 baud rate to monitor the data on the serial monitor. Uh, then sensitivity for the voltage sensor is set using the set sensitivity function. Uh, this value depends on the sensor calibration. Uh, now comes to the heart of the code, the loop function. Uh, here we are reading the RMS voltage from the ZM TB one zero one B sensor. Then the measured value is, uh, sorry, the measured voltage is displayed on the LCD. Uh, here we are checking the voltage reading. If the voltage is less than one eighty volt, it's an under voltage condition, and the relay is turned off. Uh, if the voltage is greater than two thirty volt, it is an over voltage condition, and the relay is turned off again. Uh, for the voltages between 180 volt and 230 volt it's a normal condition and the relay is turned on and also status is updated on the lcd that is under voltage over voltage or normal if you want you can change this threshold value mm, that's it the explanation of this code now upload the code in the esp32 board after selecting the right board and right communication port Now let's test our project. I have connected a AC bulb to the relay as a load, and to change the voltage readings, I will adjust the onboard potentiometer. Uh, 
uh, it is just for demonstration because I have no equipment to increase or decrease the voltage supply uh, but the working is same uh, as you can see when the voltage goes above the upper threshold the relay turns off cutting the power to the load similarly when the voltage drop down below 180 volts the relay turns off again this ensures that your appliances are protected from both over voltage and under voltage conditions uh, and that's how you can create an over voltage and under voltage protection system using the ZM tb 101 b voltage sensor. Uh, this is a simple and highly practical project that can save your appliances from potential damage due to the voltage fluctuations. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from this project. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe Technolab Creation for more exciting electronics projects and tutorials. Uh, and if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in a the comment section below. So that's it in this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Happy making.